Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video about ghost plants today, which are some of my favorite type of succulents because they grow really well in the zone where I live, zone 10B. So I took these first couple of videos here really just to document the different colors and the uh, variegation of the ghost plant as it went from summer into fall. So you can kind of see how there's the brighter whites and yellows um, in the summertime and as we got into fall the colors kind of mute out a little bit but what I started noticing is that when I had the ghost plants in this pot um, a few of them started to stretch up which I could tell that they were getting a little bit too crowded which you can see on the plant furthest to the left there um, I also did start to notice that the colors were becoming more dull as we got into fall which I did expect uh, but I also thought that it might be because it wasn't getting as much sunlight, so I did move it over to some more sun. But the colors still become dull uh, as the temperatures decreased as we got into the winter. Again, we're in Florida, so they're not decreasing too much, but, you know, enough. So I decided to move them into the ground in front of my house, uh, which you can see here. I just moved them over recently out of that white pot. And I think this will be a good space for them because they will continue to grow outward, especially as those leaves drop and they form new pups, which again is the case in the other areas where I have them growing. So I already have some leaves on the ground, so I imagine this will fill up pretty quickly. Uh, I do get morning sun in this spot and also uh, this kind of like partial afternoon sun because there's leaves or branches of other trees that kind of filter out the sunlight a little bit. But I think the morning direct sun will be enough for these ghost plants to, you know, be productive in this space. So now we're moving into my backyard. This is actually just a picture of this set of ghost plants that I planted a few months ago. Um, but this is what they looked like. You can see that it was only really two large stems. Um, and then a couple of the smaller ones. And a few months later, they're growing really nicely. And you can see how these smaller ones filled out really well. And I think a couple of those smaller ones are also just from the leaves falling. This is a space that is full sun for most of the day. Um, yeah, and you can see that that, actually I think that stem was on there when I purchased it also. Yeah, because you can see it's kind of cut off, but that was a new baby that was growing on top. And some of the leaves that fall a little bit further down get pushed with the wind. Uh, they root themselves in. So even though this is surrounded by rocks, they seem to kind of find their way through the rocks. And the space has been pretty successful. So I do know that they grow well in the ground, which is part of the reason why I wanted to move the ones in front of the house also into the ground. And here too are just um, some of the babies that I pulled up as they fall here. They grow pumps really quickly here. Um, and I've given a bunch of these away already. Okay, and then the winners, we have a little, little lizard friend in this one right here, uh, are in the hanging baskets, I'm noticing. Uh, so these are two, I mean, these are also ghost plants, but they do have thicker leaves. I'll show you um, the other ones that are similar to ones on the ground in a minute but they do really well in the hanging baskets and just about every leaf that falls you can see one example down in there forms a baby very quickly I've actually taken <laughs> he really doesn't want to go anywhere um, I've actually taken a bunch of them out already and there's just so many in there so you can see uh, even the stems I guess they're getting enough sun and airflow this one, when I had purchased it, all of the leaves had fallen off the end of it, but we're going a new one there. So the growth on this in the baskets is really uh, pretty great. And they do have a few other different types of plants in here also, just to you know, diversify the baskets a little bit. So you can look at this one. Same thing, I have some sedum there in the back. Um, but in the front here, these started, I guess with these three, and this one was really small. And I think I only planted this maybe a month or so ago, and that one's grown up really big. And again, the same thing with the babies as they fall, um, as leaves fall, they form babies really quickly. This is a really good 
set of them down in there too. Uh, this one I also pulled some out of, so you might not see too many right now. But yeah, the hanging baskets seems to be the way to go for me in terms of airflow and the sun that they're getting because they can get like, really he really doesn't want to leave that basket <laughs> um yeah so they're getting a good amount of sun here in my front yard it's uh, more morning and mid-afternoon sun as opposed to the one in the backyard that really get kind of full sun all day i have tried to grow ghost plants on my screened in patio in the back and they ended up stretching out so ghost plants continuing in the future will either go straight in the ground for me here in zone 10b or in hanging baskets subscribe to learn more